Right, it's the crack of dawn. I say the crack of dawn, it's literally just getting light on the horizon. But don't worry if we can't see anything. We got you covered. Rebecca's just pushing her way out a little bit at the moment. We're going to um, head out and start checking the pots. We've got to do this really early this morning because um, later on the tide will be too high and we want to get off the boat before it gets too high up the beach. You can get a bit of a roll on the top of the beach otherwise. So we've only got six pots to check. So we'll see how we get on. We'll do what we can and then uh, make our way back. Good breezy. I wasn't expecting any breeze. Anyway, we are pulling up the first pots and... This is our really, really old one that we weren't going to use. I think this is the really old. Yeah, it is because we haven't painted the bobbers. So. But we put this one. It's been in the, it's been in the boat in the car park for the last well all winter. Uh, we thought we'd throw it out. I think it's going to fall apart. We'll probably be taking it in before the end of the season. This one. Potting by torchlight. Yep. Well, the sun's almost up, but got to give the folks a better view otherwise it's all so grainy and that just keeping an eye on that pot over there because that's our other one that we just put down and uh i'm gonna put this one back by it it's got a lot of rope on it for Let's go this did it catch anything now this one we put some uh, abalone guts in but we put them in a plastic tub because we didn't have any other way to put them in there wanted to see if they catch anything They definitely caught something. That's a big old spider in there. I see a smile coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker, that one. It's not a very big pot, this one, see. Oh, there's a lobster in there as well. Babby one. Chuck him over. Let me just check the didn't get the uh, camera in. Right. So there was a lobster in here as well. So all my guts for lobster, there you go. Trying to keep an eye on that bobber wherever it is. I've lost it already. That doesn't look a bad one either, really. Yeah, that one's a pain because, like I said, it's such a small sort of pop. It's not bad, I might keep it. Yeah, keep hold of the biggest for now. That's a beaut, that one. Might want to take that tub out of the way. Just going to shine the light into the water in a minute. Let's see that we're not going over the rim, the rock. Do you want me to grab it? It's my left hand as well, Just not easy up. to do. New gloves. They'd be spiny. First thing first, get to them. Get away. Take, take him and put him in the box somewhere. Right, chuck it over. On the others now. Right, the wind is picking up on the feel of it.
I hope that tide ain't coming in too quick. Still alright at the moment, I can see the reef. That's that reef you've got to watch on the left of the castle, that bit of rock. Yeah. Once it levels with that, that's that's run time running out. So as it goes over that, that's when the roll starts. Although it doesn't seem too bad, there is a little roll, you can feel it, there's one. But it's not too bad, so. That's the one that had the knot in, yeah. Don't worry about that knot, keep pulling. If it's ink, well, you'll let things get out. If there's lobster if you stop pulling, that's it. Well, you could do because they swim straight out. Or can do. Not that I'm expecting much in the way of lobster, but you never know. Well, they're not keen on congre. That doesn't surprise me actually with the spiders. So you don't need to bait that one. Decent spider though, I think. Maybe not. Let it go, let it go. Right, I'm going to get moving again because otherwise we're going to be off the marks all the time. Right, let it go. Get the bottom over, let's do a and get the over the side. Lightning. Yep. Okay. It just makes life a bit easier if you feel that way for you. It's not so bad when it's calm, but when it's blowing a bit, it's pushing you all the time. Right, I've got to spot that other one. Sorry, but I thought we'd put one a bit further out to be honest. I'm not sure if it was this one or Capture that green one. He says, look at the crab in that one. Holy cow, that's a lot of crab in there. Look at that lot, that's half a pot right there, and that's a big pot. Oh, lovely. That's a good crab, that one. Keep, keep hold of all the ones that are possibilities. I'm going to stand up a minute. Spot for, spot for the other bobber. Crab in it? Yep. Good, good. coming. One more. There's a bobber there, is that the next set? I didn't see that set. we we'll motor in now, look, it's quite close to this, so I'm assuming it is. That might be our uh, green one. Red set, it probably is, because I don't think we've lifted a red set, have we? Not like that. That's the next set, eh? Right then, so if we hang around this set, we can drop this one back near and then 
tackle that one. Takes it across a little bit. Okay, let it go. Get the bobbers out. Right set here, yeah. You've got to keep you pull fast again, I'll keep the engine going. The last far out pot, far out man, yeah. and then we're uh, going to be heading in to do the two inner ones. One's a store pot, actually, we just baited it, and another one, the little plastic one that's close in as well. This looks heavy, <laughs> just saying, unless it's because the boat's pulling against it. Pretty heavy. Yeah. Apparently there's a lobster in here. I can't see it yet because obviously I've got to sit to one side to avoid uh, the boat tipping. Grab the lobster out first if you can. What she's looking at you. Might be a bit smaller. Yeah, then he might not. We'll have a look at him in a minute, but I think he might be under. We'll have to get motoring in a second, because we are near the centre reef. Got small ones. Yeah. I say small, they're not that small. They, these are all legal crab that are going back. But we never take them that small. There's just no point in taking the little crab when you can get the big ones. Plus the work involved, you just as well wait for a big one. That one's all right. you've got left but you might get away with just that head still in there because that's got to be well mature that bait really i know it's not always easy but sometimes you can sort of grab them around the back they'll pull through the net much easier than trying to bring them facing you sort of thing little ones also get started as soon as you got that one. Right, starting engine. Just wondering how much bait you got left. There's quite a lot on there isn't there? Well yeah but we caught the other bait now. I know but this is it doesn't matter we can take it back and refreeze it if it's hard right. bait. It's just that that will be good for lobster if it's rotted down. The thing is, we've, we've got enough pots, I think, with the, with the spider, with the others. Right, there it go. Okay, uh, we've got a 
our gate somewhere. There's a box behind me. Grabbing it today. Or is this that conger head? Right, just chuck them out and then get ready to throw the pot back. Well, yeah, it's a big pot, that's why. Yeah. Right, last pot. It's our store pot, actually, but we've got it baited for now. Well, we've got nothing in it. Just well put bait in it. See why I don't bother with you. <laughs> yeah, the store pot's really full up. Look. <laughs> They're good for catching crab and quails. They're just a pain in the ass to ha handle all the time. They'd probably be all under being in the shallow. You might get yeah, the odd one. Probably. I mean, I'm going to be very selective. Don't really need the lid on, do you? No. No, that's it. There's a lot of spiders this year though that have turned off. And then actually we're working out the odd day, they are actually early, they're a few weeks early. A couple of weeks early, so that's uh, good, although none of these will be any good. That's the difference of a few hundred feet in the big ones and the small ones. That was just on a bit of old dogfish. side isn't there or not? There should be. Shouldn't there be. might be, there might not be. Depends if I drilled one in there or not. That wire needs tightening up though. It's sort of hanging. Although you put, it's a very small hole actually. I don't know why the hole's so small on that. If you can't get it through that hole, Put it through the hole up here and just leave the wire a bit longer through one of these holes in the top of the neck if you can reach that far. If you get it through, I might better reach over and grab it. You've got to go a bit higher. Can you see the hole? No, it's like you've got to go higher, I think. You've got to go up there somewhere. I'll have to try this one. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Just don't put it all the way to the top and let it hang down a bit because it'll sit on the top of the It's too close to me. But that'll do. It's got bait. And there it is. Not bad for a dinghy. Half a dozen pots. Just offshore. 
So we got there, what we got there? Three, six, seven spiders, large spiders, and they're good size as well, these ones. And a lobster. So good morning out, I'd say. Right, we've got to get this dinghy on because it's starting to get washed around a bit. <laughs> 